Hey YouTube, this is Manny V. You guys are watching Inspire Your Minds. We have a lovely co-host, Cindy Ray. Say hello to the audience. Hi everyone, I'm Cindy. So today we're going to be talking about higher education and does it actually get you the jobs that you want? Exactly. It's so critical, so crazy what's going on in our world today. I mean, you have students out there with degrees like masters, PhD, bachelors, but they're actually having jobs such as Starbucks or McDonald's, jobs that don't even require any degree. The situation is that we're flooded with so many people with higher degrees and the job market is so low. What are some of your highlights in this particular topic? Do your research. So uh, look up articles, look up um, US News to find out like what colleges are actually worth going to, we'll get you those jobs, and um, also even, you know, majors and what is actually practical. So you don't want to major in something that won't get you that job that you want to. So, you know, you got to do your research. Exactly. They just give you a situation with the law of pretty much education. They're slowing out their standards for particular tests and just trying to invite people to come and join their law program. Much of them don't even pass their law exam or much of them do pass the law exam, but there's no jobs available for these lawyers. So what do they do? They end up in jobs that don't even require any type of degree. We call them mid jobs. Yeah, and not to say don't, you know, don't pursue your uh, dream if you want to be, say, a lawyer or a doctor or whatever. Just uh, try to figure out if you're actually good enough. That. So talk to your friends and have them be honest with you blunt, um, or take tests, you know, depending on how you're doing your LSAT, you can kind of tell your percentage if you have a shot at being um, a lawyer or not. If you're in the top, say, 10, 20%, you maybe have a shot at that. So, you know, just be wise about your decision. So you got to follow your dream, but um, you don't want to end up in a situation that you'll regret with a $100,000 loan for something yeah, like that will never pay it off. <laughs> exactly. I would say that's the best advice you just said. Talk to two or three people and ask them, what is my best career choices? Don't just go to one counselor, it might give you the wrong advice. Go to two or three. Get an evaluation and see what exactly what you are good at. Take that L test you're talking about to see your personality matches with your career and path. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm very pro, you know, education myself. You know, I went to college, did a some master's class and my dad's a professor, but there are people out there who um, they are better suited to do say more manual jobs, you know, being a mechanic or being a um, woodworker and, and those are Great job, you all have special talents and we're all needed, we're all um, valued. Um, but you don't want to make yourself miserable and, and say an office job if that's not what how you're made to be. That's not your DNA. So um, you know just really be be true to yourself. So yeah. Absolutely. There's many choices out there. Trade school that could actually train train you to become a mechanic or a craftsman or a handyman. So basically go out there for your passion. Just don't go and follow your parents. You know, say they were a doctor, engineer, you have to follow that pathway. Maybe you're not going to be successful at all. Maybe you might be miserable at it. So, best thing to do is do some internship, do some trade schools, and talk to three or four people in the industry, see how it is, and see if it's a, a good fit for you. Yeah, I would definitely agree with that, Manny. Uh, doing the internships, you know, get yourself in there. You're, there's no better way to learn than by doing it yourself and experience it before you dump in those tens of thousands of dollars and years of time. Exactly, exactly. With that said, I'd like to thank you again for being part of Inspire Your Minds. Check us out on our website and tell us how you can subscribe to our channel. Oh yeah, uh, just go to inspiremind.org, subscribe to the newsletter, and post some comments. Absolutely. Thank you so much and have a great day.